Hey everybody, what is up? Dave here coming back to you at 1.15 in the morning my time because I don't know how to sleep and when things get on my mind that I want to share or I want to do, I generally make them happen. So I've been working on this for a little while lately. Uh, this thought has been, as this post states in my Discord, this thought has been on the back of my mind for a couple months. Um, I want to rebrand. And there's a like phase one, phase two, phase three, like you see here, of how I want to go about it. So, like it says, obviously my Discord server isn't heavily active. Um, and that's partially my own fault for not being uh, constantly uploading on YouTube with videos and projects and things like that. Um... So it's kind of my own fault in that regard, but it's like, I make all these videos, and I start doing well again, and then I super quickly run out of ideas, or I just don't have the space, or I don't have the budget, or I don't have the devices I want to make a specific video on, or... Like, I'm trying to leave the game modding scene, but I'll get ideas for how... Uh, a video game mod to make and it's not that's not something I want to do so I kind of just hit a wall stop making videos for a while and then I come back and I do it again now I realize I could start making lith tech tutorials or I could start doing old Adobe flash stuff or I could start gaming honestly I mean while my channel has always been focused on gaming it's not Gaming in the sense of playing games, but modding them or doing uh, file discoveries, as I call it, where I dig around a new game and see if it'll be moddable, see if the files can be decrypted or decompressed or extracted and see what we can do with those game files. And while I'll probably keep videos like that, I wanted to com I wanted to get the Discord done. And I want community feedback. I want to know what everyone thinks of the new layout. Uh recently, I've been waiting for this. I'm so happy I finally got it. Got this. I've been waiting for Discord to enable forum support on my main Discord. We had it already on the 1320 Legends Discord. It was over here. It's been over here for a while. I'd like to keep this, uh, see how it works, uh, and maybe once the game actually launches, add more forum sections to you know really keep things clean and clear. But I didn't have them yet on here until about two weeks ago, I think. Uh, let me see. Actually, less than that. Until a week ago, I finally got it enabled on this Discord. And that's when I finally really started thinking about my rebranding. So, I made the new Discord. And I keep saying I want to step back from hacking and modding gaming. And I don't want that to be the face of what I do and what I'm known for. Because in the past, with Racing Rivals and 1320 Legends and... Some other games, Combat Arms was unrelated to CIE, and some other games. I really kind of put a big burden on a lot of communities. Oh, I accidentally created a folder. <laughs> I didn't want a folder, you freaking. Anyway, um, I really put a burden on some communities because I'm so creative in that aspect. And while I'm thankful for the knowledge I've gained over the years with how to reverse engineer software in a basic enough sense that I can at least find my way around, I don't want that to be the face of what I do where I hack and crack games. If I'm going to do that, I want to do it for a developer and help them. Um, I would love to offer my services to small-time developers and help them make their games better instead of just magically releasing it and giving them headaches like I used to do even with No Limit Drag Racing. 
I'm not going to ever release a public mod for that game because it's a one-man team, last I knew. And while I've heard he's kind of big-headed, I don't know if that's true or not. So I'm not going to go off of rumors. It's not worth it to do that and put that burden and stress on developers. So the rebranding had to happen. And I want it to be more tech-based because it's what I do. Everything I do is technology-based, whether it's iPhone repairs, MacBook repairs, Samsung Galaxy repairs, uh, root and ROM tutorials, and selling devices, and I want to start doing reviews of devices and custom ROMs and things like that. Like, I want to get a Google Pixel to specifically do ROM reviews. Same with a OnePlus. I would love to get, like, I have a OnePlus 8T um, somewhere around here. <laughs> I would also love to do videos that show a comparison of, like, international variant versus North American variant that we can buy here. I would love to do that with the iPhone 14. Because the iPhone 14 in America doesn't have a SIM tray. But the iPhone 14, even in freaking Canada, has a SIM tray. How stupid is that? So... And I'd love to show the insides of the iPhone 14 to you guys and be just like the other reviewers where I can do, you know, a teardown repair borderline day one and show it off to you guys. Like, that's the kind of stuff I do. I would love to, I have a closet full of electronics waiting for me to have a setup where I can record top down and show you guys me repairing the computer. I have a computer from the 1980s. It's got a TI-486 in it. I want to repair that. It's got terrible liquid corrosion damage and it doesn't turn on. But I would love to try to repair it on video and make it work because that's the kind of stuff I know how to do. I have a Commodore 64 that for some odd reason doesn't work. I would love to figure out why it doesn't work and pull it apart and do it as a video series. I have several Nintendo 64s. I would love to take one of them apart and turn it into a portable. I have always wanted to build a PS1 portable. I've always wanted to get into Game Boy modding. I've always wanted to get into so many things and do them as videos, and I've never had the chance until now. And it's going to go in phases, and there should be a phase four where when my website completely changes. So let me go over the phases because I kind of went off on a tangent there just explaining what my goals are. And I'd like to start these goals by the beginning of next year. Like January next year, January 1st, everything starts. And realistically, I only got three months to achieve that goal. Hold me freaking to it. So here's how the phases are going to work. So phase one is obviously starting now. That disables the modding releases section, the FAQ section for modding, um, creates an archive section that you guys cannot see. Um, discussion sections will be left here, like modding chat and stuff like that, because I'm not going to try to alienate those in my community that I've become friends with that are into hacking and modding games. I'm not going to alienate that. I don't want them to feel like this is a negative towards them. Which I should have said that way earlier in the video because I don't know how far some people are going to go through this. I don't want to alienate them. And if I can help them, I'll still do it. But usually they're helping me. Like, they're far well off. <laughs> um, I'm going to disable the leakers section, which I already did. I completely removed it. Um, this stuff can actually sometimes be illegal, and I've seen discords get shut down for it before. Um, there's also discord communities that are far larger than mine for finding this stuff. Most of the stuff I posted here is just mirrored from places like Alpha Archive or Rare Game Dump. I also disabled all the 1320 sections except for... Um, Like 1320 content. Um, it'll just be a chat section. Because we have an entire Discord dedicated to 1320. It's right here. As far as... Oops, I wasn't supposed to show that section, I don't think, publicly. Um, 
and remove any unneeded rolls. I actually looked at my rolls and stuff like that. I am still cool with them being how they are. So I'm just going to leave them. Phase two is be create new categories and chat sections, which I actually already started. I wanted to get that done. Um, heavily use the Discord forum feature. These will be for better organization of the overall Discord. So phase one and two are actually basically done depending on how people feel about the new sections and how heavily I am pushing the forum functionality of Discord. I've been saying it for years that forums are superior to Discord. So happy they added forums because this is so... Oh, it's so nice. Um, and then phase three, which will start sometime soon. I kind of want to make a series out of this, uh, creating my website. I own techx.onl, which is my web page. I am going to completely overhaul it. I'm thinking about doing it in a video series of start to finish editing techx.onl because I want to turn it into kind of my online store for all things technical that I'm going to be doing. Um, as well as when I get bored, I make stickers. I don't know if anybody knows this or I design t-shirts. I used to put them up on an Etsy shop, which I probably still will. I'll go back to doing that. And I would just have them printed through a company called Printify. But also my friend, uh, one of my friends owns a company called Boosted Vinyl. And he has always been willing to help me get a jump start on that. So maybe I will start, you know, much like my friend who owns Backyard Redneck, I'll start heavily pushing, you know, the TechX branding and do it through my website. Um, also, I'm going to private, this is going to be the big one, I'm going to private all the hacking and modding videos on my channel. I'm going to private every single one. Anything that's not game hurtful, I'm not going to private. So things like the EMU Paradise tutorials or... Um, car x drift racing video that shows how to get unlimited money that doesn't hurt people in that game um but if it's a game like uh no limits drag racing or a game that has a large community following like racing rivals videos that lead to game hacking and cracking like that one of my most popular videos on my channel that i'm going to private is me talking about hacking server-sided games. I'm going to private that video because I'm sick of getting comments all the time of people being like, hey, can I hack this server-sided game? Can I crack this server-sided game? If I've never heard of the game, I cannot sit there and hack and crack it for you. And nor am I going to put the time into it. I have two kids and a girlfriend and a full-time job. I'm not going to waste my time on some game that you're going to pay me 20 bucks for hacking when I could just go walk up to the developer and offer my assistance and probably get paid seven times that if I'm successful in hacking and cracking anything. Especially if I do bug bounties. Bug bounties pay thousands of dollars. In some instances, hundreds of thousands of dollars if your exploit is major enough. Um, I got paid out from Samsung a couple years ago for an exploit due to FRP, but I actually had discovered that I was able to um, go as far as uh, changing people's passwords on their Google accounts without actually uh, and potentially remotely logging them out remotely of their other devices. And uh, it was through, um, and it only worked on the Android versions, uh, I think Android 8.0 and 8.1. Um, it was something, I just went through Samsung's bug bounty program, and that was that. Uh, I think they paid me a couple thousand dollars. I just never told anybody about it or released the exploit. And I've never actually seen somebody talk about that exploit before, so I think I was the only person who ever knew of it. But it was because of FRP bypassing that I figured it out. Um, 
There was also an FRP bypass for Motorola's that I figured out that required me to call 911. I reported that to Motorola and I got paid out 500 bucks. I kind of wish I would have kept it to myself instead because 500 bucks wasn't really worth it in my mind. But also Motorola's don't sell for shit. But it's stuff like that. Like if you're going to ask me to hack a game, you better be ready to pony up because I can just go give it to the developers as a bug bounty program situation and potentially get paid for it. Or at least make the gaming community better overall. Um, there are always going to be exceptions. I will be forever willing to hack Rush Racing 2 <laughs> because it sucks. Um, if exploiting a game means saving it, and making it playable when the developers shut it down. I'll usually be willing to do that. Or if it's modding in a positive nature. I will always be willing to do that. So if it's like adding features to an old game. Or something like that. I would totally be down for uh, doing exactly that. So kind of like with the Combat Arms Reborn project. That we got DMCA'd. Um... I'll just go and, uh, you know, talk about that stuff and be fine. If I think it's in a positive nature, I'll still support it. But things that are there to actively maybe hurt a gaming community or, like, give you a positive edge is not something I'm personally going to do or support anymore. I don't care if other people do it. I don't care if they talk about it on my Discord. You know, it's my history. It's whatever. It's the community I got. Oh, well. But anyway, I wanted to keep you guys in the loop. I'll explain the Discord real quick. So obviously you have your general chat still, miscellaneous gaming chat, modding chat for those who still hack and mod, self-promo. Not going to alienate anybody out of here. He can still post here. She, he, I don't actually know. <laughs> You got two voice channels here. And then we got real car builds. And I need to make like a car chat section, but I'll talk about I'll do that later. Um long story short, I'm gonna make this like for people who are starting a car building project. If they want to post about their car and you know, keep a timeline of it or something like that with their mods, they can do it here and they can share it with all of us. I think that's a really cool idea. Computer builds is exactly as it sounds. If you have a computer you're building and you want help or um, you want to show it off and explain it, throw it in computer builds. Tech tutorials is going to be where I primarily live. Posting tutorials in text form that will also mirror onto my website and you will find uh, YouTube videos for obviously here. General gaming. Um, I should probably make a chat section for this as well. I understand not everyone's going to want to make a forum post for a general sort of gaming thing, but that's okay. That's what miscellaneous game chats for. Um, and then there's forum voice, which is supposed to be a voice channel. <laughs> uh, how do I, I don't think I can change it, which is okay. I'll just make it later. Um, and then you got 1320 content, which is just, you know, sharing everything 1320. You got the meme chat, you got the real life car chat, you got the tech X or tech repairs chat. Um, general photography for any of those of you that are photographers and a media voice section. We got a live tech chat that used to be modding chat. Um, Apple support, Android support, Windows support, miscellaneous support, and voice chat support, and then the staff sections and the archive sections. So if you have questions about your Android device, if like, hey, I got it wet, or um, hey, my screen broke, you know, how much is it generally to repair it? Or hey, how do I bootload or unlock this specific device? Things of that nature is what I would expect to go and do Android support. Same with Apple support, Windows support, miscellaneous stuff. That's just kind of where I'd expect that stuff to go. But I think this video is kind of dragged on long enough. I'll talk to you guys later.
Peace out.